Let's review what we've learned together, shall we? We started our conversation by playing a game, the flip of the coin, which explores a scenario where you could have potential for growth in the market without risk of any loss, and where you could have the opportunity to win each time you flipped a heads, but you could not lose anything if you flipped a tails. We then took a look at how this flip of the coin concept relates to fixed indexed annuities, or FIAs. We discussed how the FIA contract works to receive stock market linked returns with no market risks. By using the largest portion of every dollar in the contract, high grade bonds are purchased, which provide the end of term minimum guaranteed cash value of the contract. The remaining portions to purchase call options, which provide the growth potential. If it's a tails and the market goes down, the call options expire worthless and you do not gain any money but you cannot subsequently lose any of your credited gains either. If it's a heads, the market goes up, these call options are exercised and crediting of gains are paid out in the contract. The key is, this is not an investment. This contract is called an annuity. The insurance companies are not trying to outguess, outthink or outperform the market. Heads you win, tails you do not lose. We next talked about safety of FIAs, highlighting the three main areas that reinforce them. One, state insurance departments supervising all aspects of insurance company operations. Two, each state's guaranteed fund. And three, the legal reserve system. We were also inspired by Babe Ruth's last financial home run, putting his money safely into annuity contracts. The babe didn't lose his annuity money during the market crash or the Great Depression. We then explored the concept of when zero is a hero through a few current events, where the market dropped but there was no downside risk for fixed indexed annuities. When there are slumps in the market, which are inevitable, zero can be your hero. We then learned about the history of annuities, how they came to be, and the common theme from the Roman era to our current time that annuities are primarily used for income, income that's guaranteed and you cannot outlive. We examine the arrival of annuities to America in 1912 and the more recent advent of indexed annuities here in 1995, when the Canadian actuary firm bought out the first two equity index annuity contracts. Only $500 million was written in that first year. Contrast that with 2019, when $73.4 billion in fixed index annuity contracts were written, a 14,580% increase in new premiums since 1995. This contract is called an annuity. This is not an investment. And finally, we finished our journey through annuities by considering the real risks associated with retirement, the peace of mind and happiness we all want to experience in our golden years and how this is made possible through the guaranteed lifetime income offered through an annuity contract. With monthly income, you cannot outlive. It's been my pleasure to speak with you and go over these concepts. If you have any questions or would like to learn more, your retirement specialist and asset protector is ready to speak with you today.